what's going on everybody so i am back at last and this is my first ever madden 16 gameplay uh as you know i for a long time i had no internet i was a mess i became someone i did not ever want to be an offline player i didn't think there's anything worse than not being able to play but it is just being able to play offline is worse but here did you see that truck like this guy is amazing. I drafted uh, Russell O'Coy. No, not Russell. Christian O'Coy. Uh, he's got 99 trucking. He was absolutely insane. I loved using him. It was so cool. Uh, draft champions is an awesome, awesome mode. Like, let's just be honest and say this mode has surprised me a little bit in the one game that I've played. Coming from literally zero experience, uh, this mode has surprised me. Uh, and I'm actually kind of enjoying it. But here, let me just talk a little bit about, my, about what's been going on with me. Uh, so I traveled across Canada. Uh, that took me five days. So the last video I would have uploaded here, that was just super unfortunate. He gets the ball back. But you guys are going to want to stay for the whole video because this video does end up being incredibly exciting. Uh, so what happened is so I drove across Canada for five days. And then I had two days for the last five days. And the next three days, uh, which isn't too bad. Uh, I'm enjoying it. It's a lot harder. But you know what? I'm enjoying it. Uh, but tonight, I finally got internet. I finally found a way to hook up the resident internet to the thing. And it was like, when I finally got on PSN again, I was just so pumped up. I saw it. I was like, there's no way I'm on PlayStation. There's no way I'm on PlayStation. And then I was on it, and I was like, I'm back. TD Barrett is back. I missed you guys so much. I missed making videos so much. Uh, this is one of my main hobbies, and it was my main hobby for probably the last seven or eight months. Like, I did this all the time. Here's CJ Spiller. The backup running back uh, proves why I took him. Uh, I think it was between him and a few other people. So one thing I really like about draft champions is they pair people. I was worried when they first came out with them that they just have like the same overalls, and that would be like how they determined um, the thing. But they actually have like guys who are good in Madden versus guys who are good in real life. So I drafted Jared Cook, and he was with a bunch of, like I think he was even with an elite, and I still draft him because he's so fast. So I definitely highly recommend not always just drafting uh the highest overall player because there are some gems you can find like jared cook who has like who gets like 12 catches this game no he gets 48 catches this game i'm not even exaggerating he gets 48 uh so here we'll get back into the game it is 14 7 he is running the ball with jeremy hill and having a lot of success one thing i've noticed about this game is the running is a lot funner i don't know if it's better or worse but it's just funner to me i'm enjoying it more uh, but honestly, I was so sick of Madden 15. On a scale of 1 to sick of Madden 15, I was sick of Madden 15. Like, I was so bored of this mode. Or this game, that game. I could not even play it. I played Diamond Dynasty all the time. I never opened the game, except for to make a video. The only time I played that game was to make a video because I knew that I still had fans of it. But that thing got so dull so fast. And this is something new. Even though it looks the same, uh, because they didn't change the top bar on it, which... To me, from a marketing standpoint, you always want to change things up. So I'm sure some people are going to see that and be like, oh, the game's the same. All they would have had to do is change that top bar to look a little bit different. And they probably would sell more games. But hey, that's just that's just my opinion. Uh, here, I get a nice, I get some nice pressure on Kaepernick, my least favorite quarterback in the NFL. Even though he's kind of like me, he's a baseball player. Uh, he doesn't always look at all of his reads. And he gets sacked a lot. So I guess we're kind of similar. but And we're both decently fast with long strides. Uh, and then CJ Spiller again. I thought he was going to break this one, uh, but I get, do get suction tackled. So obviously that is still in the game, unfortunately. I would not have missed that had that never come back, but it is definitely still in the game. There, I try and truck over his guy. It does not work out too well. And then I go to the drag to Jared Cook. And like I was saying earlier, Jared Cook is an absolute monster. He just is. It's Jared Cook. There's no, I can't say anything else. And then I make a nice play to Dwayne Bow. Uh, who used to be a lot better than he is. That's all I'm going to say. Dwayne Bow is kind of one of those names that it's like, Dwayne Bow, Like, who are you? Like, people who don't didn't pay attention to the NFL like two or three, maybe even four years ago probably wouldn't know Dwayne Bow that well. But he's still a pretty solid receiver. Uh, he's a good target. And I took him with a, I think my fourth round pick. I guess rounds don't really matter. I don't know how they determine um, the rounds. I took him. And I, I wasn't too disappointed. I was happy that I took Dwayne Bow. Uh, so he gets back on offense. He has John Elway. Uh, and John, uh, oh, I messed up. Oh, I meant I super messed up. That is not Kaepernick. This is John Elway. I am nothing like John Elway, but I get him again. Uh, I got them totally mixed up. I am very sorry, you guys. I'm I'm rusty. I'm rusty as a dull butter knife, which is rusty, I guess. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe just dull. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, but here, Peyton Manning. Uh, I never used Peyton Manning. To be honest, I try and avoid him at all costs, just because he has no swag. For the 
Not because he's not accurate, not because he's not great, but just because his swag is just not good. Like, he's got those long sleeves. Like, just someone needs to go in the Broncos change room before they play and just cut the dude's sleeves. Just be like, man, this isn't the 1980s anymore. Like, get some sweet sleeves going, and I would use him. They just got to look a little bit more athletic, Peyton. That's all you got to do. And, you know, and I'll... And I'll be happy to draft you again. Uh, here I try and hit the field goal, and I miss it. So we are going into overtime. I'll start talking about the game here. So first drive in overtime, and I'm just slicing up the defense. I'm kind of trying to use the concepts that I know in real life in Madden now, rather than just trying to like user catch streaks and relying on that. I'm trying to use actual concepts. Uh, so it's, it's going pretty well, I, but I've only, like I said, this is my first game. Uh, but it, it, it wasn't doing terrible. I felt like I could move the ball pretty well. And Peyton's uh, passing stats were pretty good. Here, Akoi starts crushing guys. He just starts running people over. He's got 99 trucking. Like, he has 99 more trucking than I would have. Like, I'd have zero in real life. I, I've never trucked anything. Ever. Except for a lineman on my team in, like, a drill. I don't know. I always say I trucked him, but I really just kind of ran around him. And he fell. And I always say, like, oh, I prepared 99 trucking. It's one of my funniest jokes, by far. Not really. Um, <laughs> so here, let's get back to the game. OT, it's looking really good for me right now. I roll, I throw an aggressive catch up to Hannah, and Hannah comes down with it. Poor guy. Hannah's a kind of a feminine name, but he comes down with a great catch. And then I go back to the run, because I'm like, this game's over. I got this in the bag. Let me just go and finish this. I throw the out road, and I almost score here. I'm so close. Had I got an, any other animation, I for sure would have scored there. And then I go to the draw to Ruben Randall, and he gets the one-year line here. For some reason, I try and throw to Colston there. I didn't even look. It was just an auto-read. I just threw to Colston. And boom, interception. Uh, super unfortunate, but hey, it is what it is. He tries to go deep, and he comes down with it on 4th and 10. That was like a, are you kidding me play? Like, is this real? And then on 4th and 1, we stop him, so we get the ball right back. I'm handling handling the ball off to Okoy. I don't know. I totally messed up. See, I haven't done this in a while. You can tell. Uh, and then I do a play action. I roll, and I get sacked. Peyton gets brought down by his defensive end. He had a pretty decent D-line. Uh, I think I had the better one. I had J.J. Watt, but he had a pretty solid group. And here I go to Jared Cook on 4th and 13, and he stops me right before the first down. So he gets the ball back. He throws a quick out to Julian Edelman who gets the touchdown and unfortunately we lose our first ever draft champions game uh, but thank you guys all so much for watching thank you for staying with me even though I took a little bit of a break there and I can't wait to talk to you guys in the future and yeah drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it